trade union Federation FEDUSA says it wants in the Monday to launch a formal investigation into the Durban University of Technology. It says that management of the DUTs decided to launch a series of retrenchments and that there's a culture of fear at the institution. Ashley Benjamin is the Deputy General Secretary at FEDUSA. Ashley, good afternoon to you. What do you believe is going wrong at the Durban University of Technology? Good afternoon to you, Stephen, and good afternoon to the viewers. Well, you would recall that uh, FEDUSA has on a number of occasions brought to light some of the systemic issues uh, that's been happening at the Durban University of Technology. Now, the recent uh, Sunday World Newspaper Expose uh, has brought to light uh, some of the issues that we've been saying for more than a year. Um, we have on a number of occasions as FEDUSA and our affiliates uh, petitioned uh, the DUT Council, the Minister of Higher Education and Training, including the Portfolio Committee on Higher Education, to intervene, uh, you know, in the university uh, and try to 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 get to some of the issues of of, of alleged maladministration, financial misconduct, authoritarian authority, you know, um, abuse of power, uh, those things. Uh, but it fell on deaf ears. There is no commitment from the DUT Council, uh, the Vice Chancellor, and, and, and the Minister itself to intervene. But we've been vindicated, as you've, you've seen that the recent Labour Court case that one of our affiliates, uh, Tunusa, has brought against DUT for mass retention. Retention has been successfully interdicted by the Labour Court in December. That itself proof that uh, uh, there is shenanigans happening at uh, um, the DUT needs to be thoroughly investigated. Do you believe that one person or a group of people are responsible? Is it one small group that's not managing the institution properly? It would appear that it's a small group of the executive management that uh, are, are causing all this trouble. But then again, the, there's no commitment from the DUT council to, uh, you know, exercise uh, due diligence and, and, and uh, 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 you know, the, the powers and, and, and manage the institution in a way that, you know, it, it should have been uh, managed. And that is our drive. Uh, we believe that they cannot investigate themselves. Uh, otherwise, we will never get to the truth of it. And again, uh, the uh, some of the legal cases that's been pending, if you were Recall last year we, we, we tried to file about unfair retrenchments. The Labour Court successfully interdicted them. There was a dispute about tender procedures of security companies. They lost the case. They've taken it on review up until the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court dismissed the application. It shows you that all is not good where there's smoke, there's fire at, at DUT. And we believe the time is right now that uh, uh, the Minister must uh, relieve the uh, DUT Council of their duties, uh, the Vice Chancellor must resign, and uh, Administrator must be appointed to thoroughly investigate. Uh, they are saying that uh, um, employees or whoever has information must make use of the anti-corruption initiatives or whistleblower protection of the university. But therein lies the problem, Stephen. They are not trustworthy uh, employees and others feel uh, victimized or fear for reprisals if they disclose uh, information to, to this whistleblower. Situation. So it must be an independent uh, a person or, 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 or panel that uh, must investigate all these uh, allegations of malfeasance, maladministration, corruption at, at duty. There's too many evidence that suggests that all is not well. You've but asked them the duty. I'm sorry to interrupt. You've asked the minister to investigate this before. Has he listened to you in the past? On a number of occasions, uh, you recall that we were live uh, in the media even uh, uh, during the course of 2023. Uh, the minister is reluctant to do that. I think what concerns us is uh, if the minister wants to wait, uh, that's that what happened at uh, 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 Fort Lee University until things explode. And then they want to intervene, uh, which is a very active approach. So we, we, we will continue to petition the minister and say that here is enough evidence to your disposal that you must act and, and at least 
uh, uh, ensure that 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 the, the, the UT with the council and executive management is properly run. We want to see lifestyle orders being done to ensure that the people that, that runs the university uh, are honest people and they do what they're supposed to do, free from malfeasance and malpractices, because these are public money. It's taxpayers' money. And no one has the right to to abuse these processes and, and act with impunity. That is our, our, our major concern with what's happening at the UT. Ashley Benjamin, thank you. Deputy General Secretary at FEDUSA, really appreciate the time.